Okay, we're going to solve three simple acceleration problems using the acceleration equation that we learned before. The acceleration equation, if you recall, is acceleration A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. So let's take a look at our first question. The first question says, what is the acceleration of a car that speeds up from 0 kilometers per hour to 40 kilometers per hour in 5 seconds. The first thing we have to do is identify the three variables in the equation. The final velocity would be 40 kilometers per hour because it says the car speeds up from 0 kilometers per hour to 40 kilometers per hour and we can label that in the problem as V sub F. The initial velocity the beginning velocity is going to be 0 kilometers per hour right here, V sub i. And the car speeds up from 0 kilometers per hour to 40 kilometers per hour in 5.0 seconds. That's going to be the time, and we can label that in the problem as t. So we have the three variables. We have the initial velocity, 0 kilometers per hour, the final velocity, 40 kilometers per hour, and the time, 5 seconds. Now we just plug that into the equation. The final velocity, 40 kilometers per hour, minus the initial velocity, 0 kilometers per hour, and divide that by the time, 5 seconds. When we work this out, 40 divided by 5 is 8. But we can't stop there. We have to include the unit of measurement in the answer. And the unit is derived from the math process. The unit is kilometers per hour per second. Written just like that. Kilometers per hour per second. What this tells you is that the velocity is increasing by 8 kilometers per hour every second while the car is speeding up. So for every second while the car is speeding up, its velocity increases by 8 kilometers per hour. Well, the second question is a little bit different, but we can still use the same equation. We have, in this problem, an initial velocity but in this case, the initial velocity is 40 kilometers per hour. What is the acceleration of a car that slows from 40 kilometers per hour, so that's initial velocity, to a stop? Well, a stop would be 0 kilometers per hour, and that's going to be our final velocity. In 5 seconds, that's the time. So we can use the same equation, A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. The final velocity now is zero. Zero kilometers per hour minus the initial velocity, which is 40 kilometers per hour. And divide that by the time, five seconds. That gives us, well, 40 from zero is negative 40 divided by five. That gives us negative 8. And that's going to be again kilometers per hour per second. Now the negative sign here tells us that this car is slowing down. It's negative acceleration. And it means that this car is losing velocity at 8 kilometers per hour every second. In other words, its velocity is decreasing by 8 kilometers per hour per second. Negative acceleration means slowing down. That's why it's really important to make sure you have the uh, initial and final velocities in the correct position in the problem. Well, the third problem, we can use that same equation, A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. 
Let's identify the final velocity, the initial velocity, and the time. A car traveling at 30 meters per second, that's obviously the initial velocity, slows to 5 meters per second, that's the final velocity. In this case, it isn't zero. In a time of two seconds, that's the time, two seconds. What is the acceleration of the car? Well, acceleration being VF minus VI divided by T, that gives us final velocity, five meters per second, minus the initial velocity, 30 meters per second, in a time of two seconds. Well, when we work this out, 30 from 5, well, that gives us negative 25. Negative 25 divided by 2 is going to give us negative 12.5 meters per second per second. That's meters per second per second. We can write it like this, or we can also write it like this, negative 12.5 meters per second squared. We divide by seconds and divide by seconds. Again, that's the same as dividing by seconds squared. So the answer is negative 12.5 meters per second squared. This means that while this car is slowing down, it loses 12.5 meters per second every second. 12.5 meters per second every second. And those are three simple acceleration problems.